The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office said on Wednesday that rapper Juice Ward died from oxycodone and codeine overdose. The medical examiner determined the rapper's manner of death to be an accident. And this is quite sad. But it's like we already know what happened. Right. <laughs> and it's very sad. I mean, I still pray that God be with his family and friends and mm -hmm. help them move past this. It's just really bad that this drug thing is still... I mean, even with this death... People it's, are still on people it. are still on it. People are not ready to give it up, and more people are still coming into the drug abuse world, and mm. it's just terrible. It's I think we need to really make it an everyday conversation on social media, on TV, wherever. Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. Mm. I don't do it out of peer pressure because you think, oh, it's going to make me look. Don't cool. do it at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, I no, that's why they do it sometimes. My guys are doing it. I can't be the only one not doing it. It's cool. It makes me feel like I'm part of the crew. Like at the end of the day, you're just going to get addicted because when you start, it's a problem to stop because that is what these drugs are designed to do. So you keep spending your money, and before you know, it, you're overdosing and killing yourself. So and honestly, because of the way it's already, it's more like a culture now mm. in the music world. I think artists that probably have never been involved in drug abuse or anything that is related to drug, and they are successful, need to come out and tell their That's story speaking. more. So this young upcoming artist will know that you can actually be successful in this industry without, mm -hmm. without drugs, or you can be inspired and you can without get inspired inspirations without drug because to be honest let's take a look at this there's a young boy maybe 16 mm. he has this hit song and everybody's calling him here and there and then it was it's probably his first time he wants to perform in front of you need something million to people and he's scared somebody in his team you know somebody in this team will just put a pill in his hand and say you know take it in don't worry you, you feel better and the moment he takes it if he gets that euphoria feeling and he's like wow it feels good you know at that point, it's not. It can't help it. It will keep coming for more. So I feel if older artists that have been there before, mm -hmm. or even those that have been involved in drug and they've passed it now, and you know, should keep telling these stories and make these young and people also those realize that, know how that they are being initiated. That's mm -hmm. what I want to use now. To, should let them know so that when they are in that situation, they can easily say no. I don't want to do this. Right. Okay. If I do want to add to that before we. Um. Do um. May so rest in peace, Juice mm. World. I think the only addition to the story is the drugs that cost us death. We already knew it was drug mm. overdose. So uh, I think everyone should learn from this. So basically, that's it. Okay, so according to legal documents obtained by TMZ, Wendy Williams and um, Kevin Hunter are officially divorced. The documents also include some interesting information on who gets what. The Livingston. NJ House, she and Kevin Hunter put up for sale. It's eventually going to be split 50-50 um, dollars after it is sold. Wendy gets to keep a crib they have in Florida where her mom lives, while Kevin gets to keep the proceeds from another house he owned and recently sold in NJ as well. The documents say they each owned equal shares of their production company, and Kevin is going to sell off his shares to Wendy. This will enable her to become the sole owner of the production, but she's paying him a lump sum which is confidential at the moment, plus a severance package. Wendy will also keep all of their fortune, save for, sorry, all of their furniture, save for one of the sculpt sculpture. Uh, meanwhile, Kevin also gets to keep the Ferrari and his Rolls Royce. Good readers, I'm happy for her, but then I pay. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> I'm angry because I think he got a good deal for somebody that is a cheat. That's the major split in the But me, I'm telling you, <laughs> for me, I feel I'm happy that this is ending real quick. Mm. It wasn't dragged. She was and ready she to really leave. she really wanted yeah. her peace of mind. Mm. So even if she had to do it all 50-50, 50-50, but I'm happy that she gets to keep the, the company. The company. Yeah. Even it, of well, course, she's, she's buying it in, yeah, or but whatever. Mm. But it's actually important for her to be able to have a control of that part of her life because mm. that is where almost everything about where it happens, the part that gives her money and mm. all that. Mm -hmm. So I like that she can be in an environment where she's not having to deal with an ex while mm -hmm. working. It's, it, emotions can be really difficult to handle. And thank God regardless of how petty. strong, you know, regardless petty, of how strong. Petty how? He, he could, he could he say he's not. He really can't. He was on the bad side. Yeah. He, he, he was, was on the bad side. So at it's, the point. it's basically against him. <laughs> so, you don't know men then. They I'm talking punish. of law right now. You are the cheat. You are the no, one who no, broke no. the commitment. No, no, no. He's the one selling part of his That's company. That's what I'm saying. No, he can decide not to sell. They own 50-50 of the company. He can decide that I'm not selling. I don't think he can decide yes, that. Yes, he can. 
Because yes, for me, you can. the I'm law has nothing about that because it's his property. That is his property. You know, the law can decide. You know, if Wendy not was he. not Wendy, like if she's not this big, and then she finds out that her husband um, is cheating mm -hmm. and she files for it a divorce, not get and hold on, even if. She did not have a share in that company. Yeah. You know, she could actually get 50% yes. of it. That's where I'm looking at it from. So he so now she had no a different say. case entirely. That's what, now, that's what it is. That's what it is. Now, the law is telling you that they own 50%. They own the company equally. Because she but is she, not ready to drag it. You, you she just you, wants her peace. Do you peace. understand that? That's, okay. that's why this that's is That's why I'm saying to you that if... Mm. If she was just a housewife, safe that did not have any share in the company, Why do you she now had think almost fifty percent from the divorce. Kevin is selling at a very huge, ridiculous amount to her because he's been and you know, know we don't word. know the amount. Yeah, yet, yeah so but they said at a lump sum. Of course, it has to be. 50 I'm just happy for Wendy. It's going I'm to be what more than what is, go is going to be selling. The rate is in which is going to be selling will be higher than the what. We don't know. We but she can afford sure. it. So, okay, we'll spend it on the next Good one. Good Thank you.